Hey, what's up guys, Wally here, and this, this is the Learn SQL platform. I've been using this platform to learn SQL for about two weeks now, and it's been pretty awesome. Now, there are many SQL materials all over the internet, and I have consumed quite a number of those materials, but to have one-stop shop for everything SQL is really dope. Now, the name Learn SQL is kind of weird. I guess it's just semantics, which ordinarily should mean Learn SQL, but for some reason, it's also the platform name. But before I really go into talking about the tracks and the courses and what you will learn, first, I wanna show you a little bit around. So you get this clean layout with a nice blend of warm and cool colors and a landing page. It's not overly clumsy with details. Then you get the option of choosing which SQL dialect you want to learn between the standard SQL, TSQL for Microsoft SQL Server and PostgreSQL. You also get a scripting interface and a real database environment once you start any of the tracks or courses, which means you do not have to install anything on your computer to write or run your queries, which is cool. Now, within the platform itself, there are over 56 short courses and 20 tracks that are tailored for beginners and advanced SQL learners. And honestly, at first, I didn't think they would go deep into challenging areas. In fact, I thought they would probably use a few tables to explain all the key concepts that there is to know in SQL, but I was wrong. They packed in over 129 interactive exercises in the SQL basic course alone. And on top of that, there are additional practice quizzes and courses in other tracks. So you may be wondering, why do you need so much practice to learn SQL? Well, let's say, let's imagine that you work in a bank that has millions of account holders and you're asked to find the total volume of accounts managed by your bank within a period. And you are required to show the types of accounts, whether it's a savings account or a current account and the average closing balance within each account type. If you do not know how to write SQL queries and you haven't practiced enough, you would be lost as to how to get this information. Certainly, you cannot export the entire database of account holders to CSV to then filter the information. Not only will it take you a long time to get all that data out, uh, you'll probably crash your complete server. And also, there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to analyze the hundreds of millions of records you export into Excel. But with a simple five-line script in SQL, you can get that information pretty easily. And that is exactly what you will learn with the tracks and the courses on this platform. In this case, the SQL A to Z track gives beginners the opportunity to start from the basics and move all the way into advanced stuff. So typically what you cover will include stuff like using select and from statements, filtering using where statements, filtering using logic statements, filtering using text patterns, all basic stuff up until this point. Then you have joins, which really is the most important concept in SQL because pretty much all the time, you will be working with more than one table. So you have inner joins, left joins, right joins, full joins, cross joins. Of course, there is the aggregation and grouping, which simply involves learning how to use grouping and aggregate functions like order by, group by, count, sum, average, and so on. And finally, on this particular track, you delve into subqueries, which involves writing a query within a query. Now, I hope I haven't lost you here. Obviously, this is a lot of information for a beginner, but the only way to master is to keep practicing. And for me, this is what truly differentiates learning SQL on a platform like this over taking a singular SQL course. It is common knowledge that for a skill that requires so much practice, a single course will not do the trick. So depending on the plan that you subscribe to, you have access to other materials and also future SQL courses in all dialects. Now for practice exercises, let's jump into the monthly SQL practice track. This track features new set of databases and tables for the month. You can see the February 2022 SQL practice description here. And basically this track is for those who have completed either the SQL fundamental track or the SQL A to Z track. My understanding is that these practice tracks are updated monthly with new challenges. And for this track, you'll be working on a race car business, which kind of resembles a realistic business problem. You can see 
the Crips image of a sports car speeding through the safari there. And speaking of speed, I recently made a poll on the channel asking you guys what stage you are on your data analyst journey. And surprisingly, 72% of you said you haven't started applying for jobs because you're looking to wrap up your courses. SQL also happens to be the most challenging part of your learning according to those who voted in the follow-up post. So I believe having this sort of laser focused learning experience is really going to help you surmount those challenges. Furthermore, on the learning experience, you get a minimum of 10 hours of practice with every track and a gradual increase in the level of difficulty of practice questions. Obviously, for every practice question and exercise, you get an explanation on how to go about solving the question. You also get shown a hint if you get stuck, which I find a little buggy because not only does it give you a hint, it also reveals the answer. One thing I wish they had going is using AI to recommend practice questions and exercises to learners based on how well you solve a previous exercise. Same way Amazon recommends new items to shoppers based on their previous purchase history. Maybe a long shot, but who knows? But really overall, I did enjoy my time using this platform. And if they hadn't reached out to me, I probably would have bought one of their plans. So typically the big question with reviews like this is, well, should I buy it and is it worth it? And I'm not going to try to bullshit you. This is an expensive purchase, especially if you, if you go for the all forever plan, which is about 179 US dollars. This gives you access to all materials on the platform and also future tracks and courses and questions. So basically, I think what you try to achieve with a laser focused strategy on SQL is to give you the best learning experience with multiple practice questions and easy to use web-based coding interface and the feel of a real database environment. Of course, coupled with the sleek UI design and font colors. I think all these make learner SQL stand out from the other learning platforms out there. So if you're looking for a good place to find everything you need to know about SQL and save yourself the stress of jumping around, finding what to learn, then these guys really deliver. Now, I asked if they could give some discounts to my viewers and they were gracious enough to shout out a 5% discount using the code in the description below. So do check the description for links. And that's all from me today. If you found value out of this video, do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And also let me know, did you enjoy this review? And should I do more of this type of videos? I'd love to hear your feedback. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.